Hello, today we will be making a Asian vegetable stir fry with tofu in a black bean sauce. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I make this all the time. So. Alright, so let's get started. What you'll be needing today is the following products. You'll be needing Chinese five spice, goji jang, this is it right here. Um, I like this brand. It doesn't have a a lot of uh, weird stuff in it. It's very simple. It's fermented chili paste. Uh, you can find it at any Asian market. It's hot and spicy paste. Um, if you don't have this or you can't get it, you can use jalapeno peppers or Thai peppers or Indian peppers. Just anything spicy. Put what you want as far as spiciness. Um, you'll need some rice vinegar. Or mirin, which is rice wine. Um, of course, you'll be needing the black bean. I use, I like this one, the black bean garlic sauce. This is actually not black beans. This is a fermented soybean. Um, I use liquid aminos, but you can use tamari or soy sauce, whichever you like. Um, then you need a thickener. I like using potato starch because a little bit goes a super long way. But if you can't get this, you can use just regular cornstarch or take a little bit of uh, flour, white unbleached flour, and with a little bit of water and mix it up. That, that'll be a good thickening agent. You're going to be needing ginger, garlic, and then whatever veggies you want to stir fry. Um, also, at the end, I like using Thai basil. I have tons of this in my garden, so I always use it when I make stir fries and stuff. And for this particular dish, I'm using coleslaw, not coleslaw, I'm using cabbage, Asian watercress, carrots, bean sprouts, mushrooms, and green beans. You can use any vegetable you want. Um, and of course, tofu. So let's get started with the tofu. So for the tofu, what I did here is I took three tablespoons of cornstarch or potato starch um, and one tablespoon of Chinese spice spice and about a teaspoon of salt. What I did, I stirred up the cornstarch and the and the Chinese spice spice with the salt and I mixed it all up and I threw my tofu. The tofu, what I do is I freeze it overnight, then I thaw it out in the morning and then I press it for about a half hour. It comes out super dry, very firm. Cut it up however you want. I, I like cutting it in little cubes like this. You can cut it in diamonds. You can do whatever you want and I have here just a half a block of, block of tofu um, then just throw your tofu in there heat up your oil and what this does it makes it very crispy and it gives it an amazing flavor so uh, let me fry this baby up and uh, I'll be back with the stir fry so here's the tofu nice crispy beautiful color night nice light brown color um, now we'll go ahead and get started with the stir fry and um, before you start the stir fry, what you're going to do is take, I like using a jar. <laughs> and what I do, I put in here the tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of goi jijang, or the fermented uh, red pepper paste, or the hot peppers, whichever hot pepper you want to use, a quarter cup of marin, or, or rice vinegar, uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter cup of water, uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch or potato starch or whatever thickening agent you want to use and four tablespoons of the black bean garlic sauce and the reason I put it in the jar is because you throw it all in there you shake that bad baby up and it's just ready to throw into the stir fry so uh, let's get started with the stir fry so here we are we're gonna start the stir fry um, I like using water oddly enough I know I fried the tofu but I like to keep my refined fats to a limit so for the stir fry, I just throw a little bit of water in my pot. You can use a tablespoon of, of high heat oil, like uh, canola oil or peanut oil, whatever oil you want, you want, but I like using water. So I like starting with the crispy, the real hard vegetable first. So um, in this case, it would be the carrots. If you're gonna use celery or onions, I would throw it at the same time. Um, Just stir fry that for, I mean literally like, not even a minute. 
and I like I put the full blast heat. And um okay. and then I'm gonna throw in my green beans because they take a little longer to get tender. I like cutting my green beans on an angle. I mean literally like a little angle. Try to cut everything into the same size so everything cooks evenly. But now you're going to have hard veggies with real soft veggies. Um, and I like my veggies fairly crispy, so... My stir fries take no, no longer than five, five, five minutes, but five or ten minutes the max. And then... Let that cook up for a second or two. Um... At this point, I throw in my cabbage. Um, here, you would throw in your—I don't know if you're going to use broccoli or cauliflower. I would probably throw in my cauliflower first, and then my mushrooms. And we'll let this saute for four minutes. So I'll be back. So, three minutes passed, and the veggies are breaking down fairly nicely. So, at this point right now, I would add, add like the uh, beefy, if you're going to use like a bok choy, or like a Shanghai bok choy, which is like a very tender bok choy. I'm, I'm throwing in the Asian watercress. Um, then I will let this stir fry just about a minute or so until everything wilts down. At this point, uh, once it wilts, I would add your broccoli like immediately. Because you would like the broccoli nice and crispy. And um, 20 30 seconds in, throw in your bean sprouts. Your bean sprouts, your water chestnuts, your bamboo shoots. If you're going to put that in, I would add it at the last minute. And that's pretty much it. This is quick, easy stir fry. Now, once that's done, take your sauce that I told you with the ginger, garlic, the goji john, the mirin, soy sauce, the sugar, the water, cornstarch, and the black bean paste. Shake that baby up. Throw her in there. And this will thicken up like really quick. And like Literally like in about a minute, if that. And once it starts to thicken just a little bit, you can add your tofu. So all the flavors can incorporate nicely. Tofu will get a little bit, it'll still stay crispy, believe it or not. Okay. Literally, this took, guys, I kid you not, chopping up all the veggies and the stir fry, it took probably less than. 20 minutes and this is all done it's thick let me plate it up and I'll show it to you in a second okay so here we are the dish all made up beautiful nice colors very tasty um, I served it with a side of brown rice so you can use rice rice pasta or you can use uh, mung bean noodles whichever type of noodle you want so here's a great awesome delicious dish um asian stir fry vegetables with tofu and a black bean sauce enjoy let me dive into this baby and oh and i topped it off with some fresh thai basil uh i love the taste of thai basil and all my stir fries so give it a shot hope you enjoyed as much as i do thanks take care everyone